Hi friends, today we are going to talk about this is one of the first in the series for flexible workflow. Uh, so I will be talking about how you can analyze a flexible workflow uh, going through the standard workflow template and eventually we will build some custom flexible workflow in the next videos coming. Okay, so this is a standard uh, flexible workflow that SAP has provided for purchase order. So we will see, so if you click on display and if you can see the triggering event is this, I think this is this is getting triggered to a user exit or something. Okay, and uh, based on the based on the table entries that's mentioned. And here you click on the workflow builder. And here you can see, this is very important, this one. Okay, from here you will know what is happening. Okay, so the first thing that if you notice here is the current activity, so you can, release and you can automatically release. okay so these are the things that is there and basically you can find what are the different processes that is there so if you click on this this will take you to a particular task and at the end of the day the task will execute a class or a method class method or a business object method okay so now here the conditions are important because this is the most fancy part of it conditions based on the condition you want to create the workflow okay so it's based on PO doc type and all those things so if you want to see some things like parameter conditions so if I click on the parameters this is the parameter that is being passed and you want to click on the conditions this is based on this so if this is matching with this PO doc type then it will trigger so eventually all of this one uh, so so i'll show probably in the next videos how we can add a new condition and all these things we'll see uh the agents is very very important if you notice the agent is the place where you can see the agent rules so all these rules you can see it in a transaction pfac and every rule will have a associated function modular associated with it so if i want to see <coughs> manager of suppose manager of the last approval okay first thing i'll click on this is the rules and here is the rule and if I double click on it it will take me to this list if you notice this is a function model nothing much there would be a bunch of code which will call all classes in dynamic fashion and you can always you know uh, check how it is going on and how it's uh, getting retrieved okay so so from here it's clearly this is a CDS view that they are trying to find the employee and there would be probably some another another place where they want to see the manager now important part here if you notice you have to check the binding so the binding it checks is the last approval to the request okay so this is uh, so if I check the similar one this one this will be probably it will execute the same type of function module uh, but I think here the binding would be different so if you notice here the binding would be initiated with the requester okay so something like this you can see and let's see the cost center responsible I think cost center responsible is nothing but you go to the table CSKs and just get get the data from there so if I go into the binding portion here they are giving the PO number and from there if I double click on this this will take to the cost center agent and I think they will try to find the purchase the cost center associated with the purchase order let me see yes EKKO if you notice and then it goes to EKPO it gets all the data EKKN I think they could have done a better job in finding um, in doing a view doing a join here uh, in the coding portion so here at the end of the day it will read the table CSKs or whatever it is I don't know or probably there is another way they are trying to attach pet reference yeah uh, every possible place is they have tried to put uh, classes which which might be a little superfluous but you know uh, so here you can see so cost center or not WBS responsible so these are the places where you can see and uh, value help what is value help people picker uh, I need to check this what is this so but but this is roughly what is there in this standard flexible workflow um, um, and again you can it's very important you go through this 
and try to understand what is there okay uh, i will create a separate workflows custom workflows showing all these things and how you can add more parameters so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a good